Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Dina and uh, today I'm here with you for another yarn talk video. And as always, we cannot talk yarn without me having my faithful mug of tea. And today that tea is a white tea um, with a flavor of vanilla and rose. Um, and it's even like this ecological tea, um, biological tea, so like no waste stuff, etc. Lovely tea um, from a local store, except I just got to know about it a few months ago and they stopped selling it. So I only have what's left in this and one more bag left and I can't even find it on the web store. So I fear it's completely out of um, production, which is actually a shame because of a white tea, I think it's pretty nice. Um, and it's not the first time I've had this experience. Like I had another tea about a year ago. I was like, oh, that's actually a good tea. I could, I could drink that more often and then boom, no more sold. It happens quite often. Okay, yeah, one too many, but, but still in the sense it feels like quite often. Um, a few things obviously has happened since um, last week, Friday, um, where I informed you that my Yarn Talk videos with ongoing be on Fridays. Um, another thing is that I am trying to purchase a bit less yarn than I did last year, um, simply because um, I need more room for it, I guess. Um, I have a lot of yarn. I have friends that trying to consider me or convince me not consider convince me to make a clean up my stash or my channel stash videos etc and i do need to make a sort my stash i guess um but the problem is i can't just make a i sort my stash video i would have to make a i sort my stash series because i have so much on literally um and i don't really have a yarn room because I don't really actually have room for having a real yarn room where I can do all my recordings because else I would already been in it. Um, I do have a guest room, but it's also the storage room of so many other things. Um, and right now it also stores a bunch of boxes of yarn because my yarn right now, I'm the box hoarder kind of person. Um, it's all stored in boxes right now. So what I really need to do is I need to sort my boxes and I need to see if I could maybe um, clean out a few things in, in my guest room and then maybe I could turn it into my yarn room. Um, I can't really guarantee it. It has many things. It's also, um, it's actually also a, a prize room in the sense of I have all my old um, pokals and medals from back when I was competing. Um, it's a bit of everything room, basically. I guess it's just like kind of my room. Um, and I need to refurbish it as well. Um, I want to exchange the bed for a different bed for when my parents come and visit me. And there's, there's really many things to, to this room. Um, and the fact is working 40 hours a week with everything else I currently have going on on my schedule. Um, I don't have an awful lot of time to do it. Um, but I do have plans and ideas on how to do things. I might go through my stash while sorting it and, and do some sort of that. Um, I definitely want to try to stack up all my crates and see how bad it is, which I think it's, you will be surprised when you see it. Um, and I need to probably be better at saying, okay, I definitely have a project for this yarn. And if I don't have a project for a different yarn, I can maybe better, um, sell it or give it away um so i just need to to clean up a bit um it's really difficult when when i like touching new yarns and and like having them in my hands and, and get an idea of how they are um also and a part of this um try to purchase less yarn um because i really should shop my stash because i can shop my stash um but still um i still allow myself to get good deals um because I should be able to do that. So if I get good deals, I still want to be able to use them. And on that note, I actually did get some good deals at the local supermarket uh, last week, um, which is still definitely crafting related and things I could use for my craft. Um, so, so what did I get? I got a few, I got three things. And these three things I paid one euro per piece. Uh, so I paid less than three euros for these, which is basically for me 
um, a great deal for something that I know I will eventually be using. Um, so I decided it was worth the investment. Um, and the first thing I got is these uh, buttons. It's like magnet or world press buttons that you can, for example, close a collar with, etc. Try think of uh, the unicorns that I made um, for Christmas for my uh, cousin's daughters. Um, they actually have these press buttons in that choker they had. Um, so I could definitely see myself using these for some project in the future. There are three different sizes, small, medium and large, 10 of each. Um, and they were really just like a euro. Um, and I also admit it was the last that was, and had there been two or three more in the store, I'd probably taken them with me as well. Um, but yeah, that's how it is. It wasn't. Then I have found two taping, tape threading needles. So that would be these. I haven't taken them out yet because I haven't had the need yet. So this one is basically a very big opening gap. For, for example, like if you're going to get an elastic through, but I can also imagine this being really good if you have super bulky yarn and you need to weave it in. Um, so, and, and the same goes for this one. It also has, um, I wouldn't say a larger hole, but um, it was just, I guess, an added bonus. But I thought this could be really good if, if, if for whatever reason, when I work with my bulky yarns, this could be easier to help me weave in ends. So again, a great deal for little. Um, and the last thing I got was some XL pins. Um, as you can see here, with, they are bigger pointy ends. The distance is also, so the, the, the actual metal piece of the pins are also longer than um, the pins I already have. I could have definitely used these pins much easier when I was sewing my unicorn together. So that is another thing because I do want to make a new unicorn. Um, I just don't want to make it right now because I have so many other things. But eventually this year is my idea at least, is that I want to make a new unicorn, um, but in rainbow colors, in the sense of that the main tail should be rainbow colors. And I want to make it for myself. Um, so um, I can definitely use these pins. And, and in that sense, I can also use the buttons if I still want to make it um, a color. So um, it makes good sense to buy them, at least. Uh, I, th I thought so. I think that's a good of a deal. Um, so I guess you could say a mini haul in, the, in this uh, yarn talk video. But um, let's instead talk about uh, my current ongoing VIPs. Um, and this VIP I actually did partially show off yesterday when I popped very shortly into Amanda from Scraptastic Crochet's live stream. Um, I had like five, maybe 10 minutes. And I think I ended up being there at like 12 um, for my break uh, before ending my workday. And it happened to happen when she was live. Um, and it, yeah, I was just able to squeeze myself in there, so to say. Um, it was really, really great and wonderful. And honestly, everybody that was hanging out in there and, and, and you know, it was a really good time and my time ran. So I do apologize for having to run so quickly because time really ran. And I was like, oh shit, I need to get back to work. Sorry for my R-rated language here. Um, but my apologies for rushing so off so quickly. And I definitely want to do that another time. Um, not rushing off quickly, but hanging around with you guys, either as a pop in live or maybe making my own live. Um, it is something I do want to do out in the future, which is another good option for maybe getting that um, guest room sorted because I could make more of it. Um, I could, but it, it there is a lot of work in it. It's not just done in, in half a day. Um, I will probably need multiple days so um but i do actually have a deadline both for sorting my yarn and for my guest room because my parents are coming in the spring and i have this idea that during that time i want to refurbish it um at least um either exchanging the bed out um so it has either like a double bed kind of sofa but a bed that can be pulled out as a double bed um so either it's gonna be like a sleeping couch thing that you can make it turn into a double bed or it's going to be a double bed that you can fold out and you still have double bed because uh, the current situation is like I have single bed and then I have like um, a guest bed that you kind of fold out 
but that guest bed, it just doesn't sleep very comfy. Um, and if I can remove that actually even from the room, I will have a little bit more place, uh, space in it. Um, not much, but just a bit. So, you know, there's there's a few benefits, I guess, to doing it. Um, so it's just a part of the process that, you know, that of things that I would like to do. Um, but, but, but. Um, on that live stream yesterday, I showed off my Oasis cardigan and the Oasis cardigan is a drops pattern. And I'm using a drops baby merino mix for this yarn. Um, it's uh, for this yarn, <laughs> for this project. It's a fine yarn. So this is this is the donuts. As you can see, I almost just started a new one. I have the label here for those that's spawning a few yarn specs. Um, and the yarn specs for this is it can be washed at 40 degrees Celsius, so that's 104 Fahrenheit. Lay flat to dry, can be ironed at low, it can be dry cleaned. Do not bleach, do not tumble dry. Um, of course, they advise you to use only, let's see, uh, gentle accretation. So um, wash at gentle accretations if you use the washing machine. And don't use softness so um or any detergent so uh, like um it's a mild washing program should you want to do it um and it's made by drops design uh, drops is a norwegian yarn actually um and it's classified in the yarn group a um so that's like the short stuff about the yarn and it is really nice and soft so i'm looking forward for this uh, cardigan to be finished and i will be really sad if i don't just remotely fit it i guess um especially because Let's face it, this cardigan has given me headache upon headache upon headache. Um, and my mom is currently my winner in the sense of um, she's the one that's been helping me figuring it out when I've gotten stuck. Um, this is where we are at. So this is the whole back panel. Um, and here would be where the arms would start to go in. And it's worked in the round. So it's... It's actually really difficult to, to, to show it decently. Um, but this would be arm gaps. Um, and I progressed a couple of rows. And I need to keep working on this until the diameter from like top to bottom. I guess this would be the best, best way of measuring this one. Is about 90 centimeters. Um, don't ask me what that is in inches. Um, there is an inch converter on the internet. That is what I would use. Um, centimeters to inches, 90 inches is about the diameter I need this to be. Um, and I still have a bit to go. Um, what I'm going to do is currently I am going to make another, let's see, I'm here and I'm going to compare it to my chart. I'm going to finish this chart all the way up here. So that leaves me with another two, five rounds to go. And then I will make my next measurement. And I still think I need to add more rounds after these five rounds. Um, so what I'm working on is basically the circle. So this is the nice uh, diagram. You can see some measurements here. They are all in centimeters. Um, you can get them in inches, etc. on the Drops website. Uh, be aware the pattern is poorly written. And I'm not sure if I would say poorly translated, but... Um, I need to discuss it with my mom and we both agreed it was poorly written and she would definitely also have written it differently. Um, but we ended up figuring out how to actually do those arm gaps. Um, and I think it looks okay um, for, for what it is, at least. It seems okay. Um, and I'm keeping working on that. So I'm probably going to add one more repeat of this pattern. But so far, I'm going to make the last five rounds here. And I'm having a measurement to see how much difference has a full repeat of the pattern made so i know if i will have to make another full repeat of the pattern or not um i do think at least i would have to make until here full, half a half repeat of that pattern but we will see so when i'm done with the circle i need to add two arms or two sleeves and i need to add another panel here for the front piece um that's basically what's going on right now um but my goal is to have the circle um, done before I'm going to Denmark, which I am next week. Um, next weekend, I will be in Denmark to celebrate my birthday, uh, but also to celebrate my dad's birthday. My dad is turning 70. Um, and I'm there also to celebrate um, 
my mum's birthday. So uh, we all, we're all all born in January. Um, so it's a big birthday party. I will see my whole family, both my mum's side and my dad's side. And, you know, um, so I won't have an awful lot of time. Um, and I'm also not home this weekend. Doesn't help either. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm working on this. I sometimes have meetings in the morning uh, for work. And then, you know, they are usually off camera. Gives me opportunity to 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 work on this a bit beside um, because I mainly to listen. Then sometimes I'm also having waiting times during work. Um, I'm paid to be available, um, but if there is no actual work that requires my attention, I just need to sit and wait. Um, and during those times, I can also work a bit of my projects. So um, I hope the coming work week is going to be calm, so I have time. Uh, next to where are other things I have to, to actually get close to being ready to the next step. Because if I'm then in doubt with the pattern, it's much easier to ask my mom when we are actually at the same location. Um, and, and worst case scenario, I will bang it again for a month or two until I maybe see her again and we can discuss it then or we might have a phone call or whatever. Um, it's just so much easier in person. That's what I think. But that is how the progress is looking here. Um, so so yeah, um, I think it's 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 really I like how the the pattern is um, like a, a star sun like pattern um, circle pattern going out. Um, yeah, let's see what else am I working on right now? I am working on my poncho. And just to find that, I have it here in my crate box. Um, people tend to ask me, or uh, people tend to struggle with many yarns, saying like when they have these um, cakes, um, if you take them from the inside here, um, they tend to collapse and then you tend to get the yarn bath. Um, actually, I find that because I use these crates, um, I don't have that. I never really had a cake yarn bath on me, ever, ever. Maybe I've been lucky, could be. Um, but I actually have them standing in this crate. So right now I'm working from the outside in, so that's easy. Uh, and it just fits in this crate, by the way. Um, but I would do the same if I would take it from the inside out. Um, and then yes, it does collapse a bit. But if you are moving your project around, um, you take the whole crate with you. Um, so I would take this crate with me in the car um, or I would go from here to the couch in the living room or whatever if I'm watching a movie. Um, so it's just so easy to move around this crate. Um, and sometimes I can now I can take it out because obviously it's um, I'm taking it from the outside in and here you can easily see how much I've already used. Wow, actually, that's more than I thought I had. Whoa. <laughs> Um, this is um, the inlines poncho, alpaca inlines, alpaca poncho that I am working on. And uh, I've currently just finished a full round. Um, so let's take it on just to showcase how far we are. Um, you can't really fully see it, but um, I did a few more rounds since last time because you can see the blue is getting lighter. You can also do it. Let's do it opposite. You can also do it sideways and when I'm having it on sideways here oh I can feel the warmth on my shoulders already like I could actually almost just stop here and have a piece that's just warm my shoulders um I'm super happy with how this feels and how this works up I like the pattern it's a straight very simple forward pattern if you have um hobbies alpaca wheel or in this case, I use a hobby, uh, not hobby, a yarn at flowers alpaca. They are the same yarns. Um, it's just the brand name. The yarn specs are the exact same, 100% the same yarn specs. So um, I am 99.9% .9 sure this is the same yarn. Of course, I can't prove it because I don't in fact know if they're made at the same factory and they just have a different label, but that is what it seems to me. Um, and the Yana Flowers of Packer is a bit cheaper than the hobby ones. Um, so that's basically where I got these. But that said, 
hobbies a pack of wheels come in some colors that the yarn art flowers a packer doesn't come in and opposites um so it also depends a bit about the color you want to use um and what's available um but you need two skeins to make this in lines poncho which is a hobby paid pattern by tenta toilet it's a danish designer um linking it to it down below if you are interested um and uh it's so simple um so after you make the starts you then uh, make a full round of double crochets so you chain like 108 i think it was and it's a crochet hook of five millimeter i'm using with this even though the yarn recommends thinner but it works up nicely I, I really don't have a feeling i'm using a too big crochet hook for this project um but you are um i think it was 108 and then you double crochet 108 double crochet stitches and then after that you start expanding um and you do that by um it's a front post back post project and that is what's creating this rip feeling um or texture um which gives us um uh, it's a bit stretchy as well um but it also feels a bit thicker um but yeah you basically do front post back post front post back post front post back post they're all double crochets so front post double crochet back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet, etc all the way around just do, 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 do. done easy huh um and then at the ends here um what you do here and that is what i will have to do is they do advise you to do um um three chains double crochet chain two and then two double crochets and then you will continue again with front post back post front post back post what i do is actually only do two chains and a double crochet and the reason for this is i feel when i do three chains and a double crochet um that this goes way bigger compared to at the other end where you do two double crochets two chains and two double crochets in the space gap um but to keep these as close as uh, I, uh, to each other i choose to do only two chains um and that's because that fits i guess my gorge better um or just i think it fits the pattern better so um it's a minor adaptation um but i think it's gorgeous that is basically how it's looking right now in its full pride um and once i'm done with this full cake what i will do is i will take this cake and i will start from the center and i'll keep adding length but 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 before we are done, the outside of this cake, I'm going to add to the top of this. So I will get like a color, a cowl. Um, again, it's all in the pattern. Um, and I have quite some road to go. Um, I'm like probably like halfway through this cake. So I still have like a fa another four to 500 yards in this cake before I start on this cake. Um, 400 is probably a good guess. Um, and this is a project that I find really good to bring with me in the car. So when I'm driving somewhere, this is a perfect project for bringing with me on the go. Um, because it's so simple, like it's mindlessly simple. Uh, I can talk, I can be focused on other things. I can just need ching, 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 front post, back post, front post, back post. Um, and that's also making it a perfect TV project, actually. Um, and I do have a TV project uh i always have one try to have one um and this one is my current uh tv and on the go project um and since i'm knowing that i'm going to spend a lot of hours in the car um upcoming weekend it's just like two hours ish or so so that's not a lot but when i'm driving to denmark that's nine and a half hours so like if we can drive it all in one stretch with minimum brakes and the traffic is nice it's still like nine nine and a half hours um and that's a lot of hours. I'm not going to be sitting next all the time. I will be trying some of the time as well. But it's a lot of time and a lot of opportunities to crochet. I might even go tired in my body from crocheting. And we will leave so early in the morning that it's too dark to do anything decent in any case. So I'll probably start by driving. Or at least I'll suggest that I'll be the one that starts by driving. Um, but yeah, we will we will have to see um, how far it gets. Um, I will definitely, for the shoot career, to bring this cake. But that's also another reason for having having this other project finished. So um, that is what I will be bringing with me to Denmark. Um, and that is basically what I am working on right now. Um, at least for, um, for this. And 
then I have one left uh, to talk with you guys about, and that is the mosaic afghan that I'm making. Um, brand new. I've, I've never tried OLA mosaic before, so for me, this is a completely new method of crocheting. Um, it's actually reasonably simple because it's either single crochets or double crochets um and if you do double crochets you need to do it in the loop of the previous round like the front loop of the previous round that's usually unused um again it's something that i need to get a bit used to um but i do enjoy it so far um but it is something that i need to keep what i say t the tongue straight in my mouth um i need to keep focused um and it's not a project that I've had much time on. I've done two more rounds since last yarn talk, which is not much, but I've just basically been busy. So um, I keep track what round I am. I make lines. I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook for this, and I'm using the Style Craft Special DK yarns. So um, right now I am busy with the cream and the, I do think they call it Burgundy, Burgundy. Um, and I'm just putting away the yarns here. And it is, as I said, this Stylecraft Special Double Knit or DK yarn. That is 100% acrylic yarn. Um, and uh, it's approximately 100 grams, so three and a half ounces to 295 meters. So that's 322 yards. It can be ironed at cold and tumbled at cold. You can dry clean it. They recommend four millimeter crochet hook because it's also what I'm using for this project um, and wash at 30 degrees. Um, that's basically it. So right now where we are at is that this is how we're looking after round, what did I say? It's round 11. So I've gone from round nine until round 11 until this time. And you can see I'm preparing now for some white edges here. Um, and what you do is each round you take a new color well not new color but you take the different color the ascending color um so next my next round so this past round i work with the burgundy and next round i will work with the cream white then the next round i will work with the burgundy again until of course that my burgundy changes into a more red color because this is a blanket that changes colors um the background colors changes where the white will be the same it's cream white will be the same all through the pattern um basically the back side is always a bit funky it's never gonna be super pretty and i am going probably to um line it with something i think um i haven't really decided it's honestly it's not as bad as i thought it would be looking compared to last week this seems to be starting to be a bit nicer. You can see I'm carrying the yarns with me. So you always have two balls attached to this project um, that you carry with you. Um, but yeah, so this is basically right now. And I do believe the first 40 some odd rounds maybe or so. It's with the Burgundy. Um, it has, the pattern has 129 rows in total. I've made 11. So 11 at 129. The thing is, um, I don't think I have time to really work on this. Maybe I can do a round, maybe, on some next channel talk video. So um, this project might be dormant for the next week, basically because I'm, I'm running out of time <laughs> for everything I need to do. Um, but I knew when I started this project um, at New Year's Day that... Um, not New Year's Day, was it? New Year's Eve, maybe. That weekend, um, I knew no matter what, this project is something that's going to take me probably the whole year to make. Um, and that's okay. It's uh, So this is my, we are going to follow it for the rest of the year season, season project. And if I'm done before Christmas next year, I'll be super happy and excited. Um, but I'm not, I'm not really sure what to expect. Um, Time-wise, timeline-wise, when to have this finished. So that's pretty much it for now. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, Yacht yeah, Talk video this time around. If you haven't done it yet, do please subscribe to my channel. It would help me very much in our goal to the thousand members or uh, subscribers. And once we hit that thousand, I will have an extraordinary giveaway video. On Monday, I'll be back with a new um, yarn haul video. 
That is a Linda Hobby yarn haul with some brand new soft cake yarns. Absolutely gorgeous. Do watch it. And on Tuesday, we'll be up with a new giveaway video. Take care and happy crafting until I see you again. Bye.